Hello everybody, this is Sir Winston here on the Sir Winston Podcast and it's episode 13 and today I'm going to talk about being on a time schedule for any creative idea that you have. So I was talking with a friend today and uh, the friend wanted to put out something that they've been always wanting to put out but they always uh, lost track of time or sometimes you lose track of time and you say to yourself, wow, I wanted to put this stuff out, but um, I was wanting to do this real quick, but you know, it's become months and months and months and months. But so today I'm going to talk about putting things out on a timely manner, on a timely manner. And so um, I'm going to tell you a little story about my friend, Paul Gillespie. Now, Paul Gillespie, um, man, I mean, he's amazing in my life. We were doing my I think it was like my third album and I was like man I need to you know do this third album so what he said he's like what songs you been working on man I said well I've been working on about 10 songs and they're like about like love and and they're about like having happiness in your life and and it's it's like the candle in my life and he was like man that's a great title So he made sure that I put that as a title, Candle in My Life. And then he said, okay, so you want to do this album, so let's let's just put it in perspective. And I was like, okay, so what we got to do? He says, well, we got to lay down the guitars, you know. So you have to practice these guitars because, you know, you have to make sure that they're in time. And he was like, okay, now you have to make sure that you get somebody in bass. And you have to make sure you get this done between Monday and Friday. Or you got to get somebody to do the drums. And then, you know, so on and so on. So what he taught me there was being in a timely manner. He taught me that sometimes we, we have to have something done in a timely manner. And we have to finish it and say hey we're done with it in a timely manner and we have to say hey okay it's going to take me a month to do this and it's not going to take me 20 20 months to do it you know and we have to say okay we got to get right on it because sometimes we have ideas that we have that's creative and we just say oh man i just can't i can't get this done right now but we're procrastinating on it and we say man you know i'll just put it off next week We can get on it next week or we can get on the next week and then it turns into five years and then you're like man i wish i had that idea i had an idea but the time just goes by and you're like man i'm just like i i should have been out with this i should have been doing this a lot of people that we see doing things that we like to do they just had a time schedule they had a time schedule on what they wanted to do. They had a time schedule on this stuff. So, you know, I I, I always say to myself, man, you know, I want to do t-shirts. And I'm, that's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Even when I was a kid, I wanted to do some t-shirts. So, I'm, I'm putting a time schedule on myself. I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to get five designs done. And I'm not going to go all crazy on it. I'm not going to go, I'm going to do 50 designs. I'm only going to do five designs and then I'm going to, you know, make sure that I have the right shirts that I like, you know, well, I like polyester and cotton percent or spandex cotton. Yeah, I like this. So I'm just keep going. I'm keeping the idea alive. I'm going and I'm finishing it on on the date I said I was going to finish it on. So it keeps me going in a timely manner so i like to give tips on these things on the podcast so the first tip is schedule schedule yourself out say hey i'm gonna get this done in july 15th that day is solidified now in your days you're like oh man i can't i gotta get this done before july 15th and then you just start like moving uh the second idea that I would tell you or the tip I would tell you is to get to work you know do as much work as you can in two three days take a break you know I always say hey take breaks because sometimes 
we can get creatively drained and we're like man i don't know what is going on i'm i'm not feeling this idea no more no it's just because you worked on it for 80 hours so what you want to do is you want to kind of keep a creative flow going so i always talk about creative flow so and then third i would say you want to be done at the date that you said you're going to be done with and just live with the results you got to live with the results you got to live with what you're doing you it's not going to be perfect it's never going to be perfect nothing's going to always be perfect but it's a work in progress i mean i hear about the stories of albums that people have done where they're saying i wish i had more time or i hear about ideas that they had and they were like i wish i could have did this better and i'm like that was a masterpiece but they thought they needed more work on it so i like to thank everybody you know uh there's only two more episodes to go for season one and i want to hear from you guys in the comments please let me know what you guys are thinking because i haven't heard from you guys in a while and i'm getting worried so uh let me know what you guys think about um i'm here to serve you guys um i'm doing season two in another four or five days so uh please let me know what you want to hear please let me know what you want to do in the creative thing this is sir winston williams here on the sir winston podcast signing off check y'all guys later